Hi there Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of February. This week begins with a really important new moon in your sign. Important not just because it's going to help you to up your energies and your focus on the strands of your situation which are ongoing or to start something new in a really daring way. But what's key to this particular new moon is that it squares with Mars, which is in a very dominant, potent position. Mars is the planet of desire, and in the 10th solar house, it's up in the way you interact with the world at large. But there's been that other set of energies, which has been very, very strong, particularly last week, and it's going to be there at the start of this week, which sees you perhaps wanting to embrace that quieter, more meditative side of your nature. And there could be a conflict as this week begins. It's not necessarily going to be a walk in the proverbial park in order to achieve the goals that you want. This is going to be a time when you put things in motion and you could do confidently on the face of it, but underneath that, there may be some moments where you feel quite uh, tender, quite uh, unsure that you're going in the right direction. Well, the great news, Aquarius, is that by the end of this week, Mercury is going to arrive in your sign. And that's going to take away a lot of the anxiety that's been washing around your situation since before the end of last year. If your nervous system has constantly felt drained or you felt exhausted, this is your opportunity to really start moving forwards. But you need to pick your goals to surf that new moon in the right way. Don't try to do too much. Focus on the things that are really important to you. Now for some Aquarius people that may be giving themselves some kind of new makeover. It could be to try to impress someone in a position of influence. But if you're reaching for a big goal, be prepared that there's going to be extra responsibilities coming your way. Romantically, there's a still a very complex set of influences at the start of this week. This may see you yearning to get closer to someone that you've got a secret fascination with. It may be to do with someone you used to be involved with. Or if you're in a relationship which isn't proving very satisfactory, there may be part of you that's really wanting to break free and do your own thing. And Mars can really urge you on. And you know, Mars is actually forging a brilliant link this week to Pluto and Venus at the start of the week, and then for the rest of the week with Jupiter. When Mars and Jupiter get together in this kind of way, it can give us a real sense that nothing's impossible. But Jupiter is tracking backwards in a sign that it's not particularly comfortable about, uh, located in. But I do feel that if your interests are in business, or in being entrepreneurial, or trying to get a new venture off the ground, if you can really show maximum faith in what you're trying to do, not listen to any doubters, or even your own inner doubts, and just be totally single-minded and be wanting to embrace a bright, fresh new future, which may see you letting go of some resistances to change, which sees you sometimes sticking to what you know best, despite your reputation for liking new things. If you can really go for it with conviction, this week could be the a foundation stone for something so very important. And once Mercury pours into your sign at the end of the week, I do feel that you're going to start to feel so much stronger all round. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.